Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to restore an old photograph that's been damaged and also has been color damaged, faded and darkened, and it's got all kinds of problems. So in stage one, what we're going to do is we take this old photo here. This is from a book I got years and years ago um, on Photoshop 6, I believe it was. Anyway, it's many years old, but I like to use the image. So um, the color photos, where I'm at so far is we're going to take it in stage one and we're going to brighten it up and make it look a little bit better um, by adding some adjustment layers and doing some correction. So from stage, uh, this is where we start and this is where we're going to end up. So with this photo right here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our background layer so that if we want to go back in time, we can. So I'm going to drag this background layer to the new layer icon and that duplicates and copies the layer. So now I've got a copy. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do an adjustment layer. And my adjustment layer I'm going to do first is, let's see here, layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll start off by doing a levels. Okay? And the levels, we're going to adjust our um, contrast and our values doing that. Just click OK, levels 1. And here is the histogram, which is an analysis of our image. And you can see that um, the mountain of pixels, this rep is a representation of all the pixels in our image, you can see that they go from dark, uh, from gray, mid middle gray, to dark gray, but there's no white. So we're going to slide this white slider all the way over to where the pixels start, indicated by this hill, right, or this, this graph. And now we'll have some white in our image. Okay, and then we'll slide this black one over here, okay a little bit and that'll darken it up just a tad and we're good right there. Alright, we'll go back to our layers menu by clicking down here on layers and you can see here before and after so that brightened it up a little bit. Next thing we're going to do is click on our background copy layer and we're going to do another adjustment layer. This time there's an easier way of doing it. You can just click on this little button down here and that will set up an adjustment layer. We can do a um, this time we'll do a hue saturation and in the hue saturation I'm going to slide the hue the hue you can change the this the colors completely on the image what I'm going to do is just slide it a little bit more over to the right slightly and then I'm going to up my saturation since the image is kind of faded kind of gray I'm going to saturate it a little bit more give it um, some more color it's still looking a bit red now kind of yellowish we're going to fix that next in a minute so that looks good and now I'll click on layers again so now I've got two adjustment layers here this one's for brightening it up a little bit this one's also brightening it up a little bit okay this is kind of adding some more color to it and the next one we're going to do click on background copy go down here to the new adjustment layer and we'll do a um, let's see here a color balance this one's color balance all right, and with the color balance, we can adjust the shadows, midtones, and highlights. For the midtones, I'm going to move away from yellow towards blue a little bit here. Okay, and um, let's see here. I need a little more green in this image, that's for sure. I think, yeah, a little more green, and away from red towards cyan. All right, that looks good. In the highlights. I'm going to also move towards blue a little bit here and towards green just a little bit not too much and then I might I might move this one towards the red a little bit there we go and in the shadows I'll move towards the blue I think a little blue here a little green definitely some green and then up here also towards the blue okay and that looks pretty good if I want to compare it with what I had done before I'll click on my other image right here and then I'll open up my levels and look at the um, look at the adjustments that I had on the previous image let's see here I'll go back to layers look at color balance and see what were my numbers on the shadows 22 6 and 8 so on my new image I can go there to color balance and shadows 22 6 and 8 it looks like I actually went a little bit to the red here and let's I'm not sure why I did that but let's see oh it was negative 22 that's why of course negative 22 so I go to shadows 
and jump over here to negative 22 and now I'm a bit set right here okay so that's stage one of our video um, we've now accomplished if you turn off the eyeballs you can see the previous image right here and then you put on here and you can put on the adjustments okay